Welcome one more time, students. Oh, today is a beautiful day. Today is Friday, and it's time to start with the lesson, okay? I'm gonna show you now here your classroom presentation tool. Everybody open your books, please. Open your books. It's time to start with the lesson for today, yeah? Uh, we must work in some activities. Uh, I think we were learning or we were working on the unit number four, the previous class, right? So let's go to the unit number four. Let's make a review and let's start with lesson for today. Remember students in this part, we're talking about the, the wrap up. We're talking about, about experiences, right? Recuerda que cuando hablamos acerca de experiences, tú puedes utilizar este tipo, este tipo de oraciones. I've been, para decir que, que estuviste en algún lugar, ¿no? I've been to the art museum downtown. Yo estuve en el museo de arte del centro de la ciudad. O también puedes decir, I've tried ceviche, para indicar algo que probaste, algo que comiste, ¿no? I've tried ceviche, I've tried tacacho con cecina, I've tried, etc. ¿Ya? Luego, cuando vas a mencionar que viste algo, ¿no? For example, you can say, I've seen Avengers, ¿no? Yo vi Avengers, si viste alguna película, ¿no? O I've seen Transformers, I've seen Duro de Matar, I don't know, etc. ¿Ok? Now, let's see, let's work on the next activity. It says, the lesson B. Yeah, what can you say to clarify the meaning? Okay, what do you say to clarify meaning? I'm gonna start asking here some of you. When you clarify the meaning of something, you use these kind of expressions. No, what I mean is, lo que quiero decir es, what I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, o I mean, no, o yo quiero decir, I mean, yeah. So let's go to the next part. It says the next activity, the letter C. Uh, imagine you and your partner are going on vacation together. Make a list of eight fun things to do on your trip. You have to mean it. This is about the lesson C. What are uh, the, the fun things that you can do on vacation? Tell me, for example, you can say, uh, try an exotic food de pronto, no? Probar uh, comida exotica, try exotic food, no? What else? What else can you say about this? The fun things to do. You can say, no? Climb a mountain, no? Climb a mountain. Go camping, no? Etc. Yeah? Go camping, etc. Yeah? Those are fun things that you can do on a trip. Okay? Now let's go to the next part. In the next part says, describe a memorable experience you've had, but don't say where it was. Can your partner guess where you were? You have two minutes. Well, in this part, you can describe a memorable experience. Yo sé que cada uno de ustedes tiene alguna memorable experience, no? For example, you can say, I've been in, I don't know, I've been in Ica, and I've, for example, uh, tried some, uh, uh, extreme export, etc. Yeah, this is to describe a memorable experience. Now let's see in the real world. This is the number two. I'm gonna ask here another student to do this activity. Yeah, let me see who is here. Let me see. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask here uh, Sanchez. Genesis, please, you tell me here. Sanchez. Read this part, activity two. Is Sanchez there? I think she's not here. Well, Santiago, Moises. Are you there, Moises? Hello. Hey, Professor. Okay, Moises, please, you're gonna read all of this part, yeah? Start, please. Activity two. In the real world, what do you think will be a memorable vacation, find information in English online, or in a travel magazine? About one place, then we write about it. A vacation in Hawaii. Hawaii is a good place for a vacation. I always wanted to go whale watching. And I read that you can see whales in the Pacific Ocean from December to early May. The best place to see the Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. 
It are from red about Haleakala National Park in Hawaii. A lot of people from Mount Haleakala have seen film the pictures of it. It's look really beautiful. The weather is swirling. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you very much, Moises. Now, here we have, for example, um, an experience or, or that you can have in Hawaii, right? How can you find information? The que manera encuentras information? You just Google, okay? You open here this, no? And you write here, vacation on Hawaii. And you are going to get a lot of information of this, no? Here we have, for example, explore Hawaii, plan your vacation, and you can look here some information about Hawaii. What places can you visit in Hawaii, no? Where you can be in Hawaii, okay? Oh, this is not a guess. I don't know what happened with this. Okay, I'm not gonna accept anything. Yeah, for example, here, no? It says, Ko Alina, beachfront penthouse no it says welcome to our paradise the katie making no and you look you have here you can see the location no you can watch video about this no you can look for some information for some extra information there is a hotel in hawaii no that you can that you can stay in right while you go when, when or while you plan your vacation Okay, for example, it says, get a closer look. Okay, you can look, you can see here, right? More photographs about the place. That's beautiful. This hotel is very beautiful, no? It's near the ocean, yeah? And, and, and you can plan another. For example, you can say, vacation on Egypt, for example, no? And there it is. You can look for information about Egypt, all right? For example, it says, no? Here. 15% cashback online booking and you can book here no an information about hotels uh, and the places that you can visit no for example it says Saudi national day no pay three stay four national uh, day lunch for example you can look for more information here about this for example about lunch yeah you can go you can go here and you can look for information no it says no include yourself with various dishes at Markham and a color resort during saudi national day you have here the information that says the offer includes saudi leaf cooking station dessert beverage access to resort facilities free internet and parking okay and you can book now what is book now separar ahora no you can go you can book now and you can write here you can uh, complete the information, no? For example, here, how many people, no? One adult, three, four, five, etc. Children, how many children? Niños, zero, one, two, etc. No? Now it says that you can add room, more rooms, no? One room, two adults, or you can say one room, one adult, no? Or maybe you can look for one uh, room, but three adults, etc. Okay? This is how you can look for information and you can plan maybe your vacation in the real world, yeah? Well, now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna go to the next part, yeah? Let's go to the next part. What do we have here? It says our world. Let's work here. What do we have? Our world, this is the lesson five. Look, here we have some interesting things, right? It says, what's the warm up part? It says that we have to look at the pictures and rank the places would you like to visit from one, the most, and to six, the last. Yeah? ¿Qué vas a hacer? You're going to rank. Vas a poner en, un, en, en, en una escala. ¿Cuál de todos estos lugares te gustaría visitar? Ya. Yeah? En primer lugar, vas a poner number one. Y bueno, y number six para el último lugar. No, this is with your personal information. Esto es con tu información personal. Cada uno de ustedes lo va a hacer de manera diferente en su book. For example, well, in my case, what should be the first place that I would like to visit? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it could be the 
uh, Chichen San in, in Mexico, right? I'm gonna write here number one. Okay, this is gonna be for me number one. Ustedes van a tener que elegir con su personal information. Ustedes van a enumerar de diferente manera. No? Uh, well, the number two, maybe the Burj Khalifa, it could be number two. Okay. Number three, oh, I think it's very, uh, very nice, this, no? I think it's right in Italy. Okay, this could be for me, number three. Ah, esto es para mí. Ustedes de pronto van a tener una manera diferente de poder elegir. Ya, su, lo que ustedes quieren visitar primero, ¿no? Well, now, I think the high, the ice hotel in Sweden, yeah, it seems to be interesting. I saw, I saw some videos about this and I, I read about this, ¿no? The, the ice hotel, este es el hotel congelado en Sweden, ¿ok? Now, then, um, yeah, I think number five could be this, ¿no? The... Kinkaku High Temple in Japan. This could be number five. And finally, yes, the Yellowstone National Park in uh, US. Okay. Now, here we have the question. Why do you want to visit your top three? Okay, what is my top three? Number one, two, and three. Why? Well, I think they look really interesting for me. They are uh some special places right yeah i think that's why because they are special and the buildings are amazing okay that's why i chose uh the top three of them yeah now let's see let's work you have to rank on your own way recuerda que ustedes van a evaluarlo o lo van a calificar en su propia eh, de acuerdo a su propia opinión okay Let's go, let's work to the next part. I see, let's go to this, to the page number 44. And here we have, oh yeah, a new topic. It says older, taller, and more famous. Activity one, vocabulary, human-made wonders. Aquí tenemos las maravillas hechas por los hombres, ¿verdad? Por los humanos, it says human-made wonders. We have to label the pictures with the correct words, then listen and check your answer. But we are gonna play this now. You are gonna listen and you are gonna complete. Yeah? So pay attention, pay attention. Our... Remember here we have uh, number one is a canal, number two is a skyscraper, number three is a tunnel, number four is a tower, number five is a subway system, Number six is a stadium, number seven is a bridge, and number eight is a plaza, yeah? So let's continue, let's go to the next part. It says language in context, yeah? What do you have to do here? It says two amazing views. Later, I read a question posted on a website for visitors to New York City. Which view does the site recommend? Yeah, you're gonna answer this. So pay attention, please. You're gonna listen and you are gonna read. Pay attention. Page 44, exercise two, language in context. Two amazing views. Which is better, the view from the top of the Empire State Building or Rockefeller Center? Good question. The Empire State Building is older, taller, and more famous than Rockefeller Center, so it gets more visitors but the lines to get to the top of Rockefeller Center aren't as long as the lines at the Empire State Building. Tickets are more expensive, but I think the view is better. You can see Central Park on one side and the Empire State Building on the other. Okay, now, Torres, please, Daniela, you tell me. Answer the question, which view does the site recommend? Which is better? The view from the top of the Empire State Building or the Rockefeller Center? Mm -hmm. What? Well, 
The Empire State Building. Okay, let's see what says on this part. This a uh, good question. The Empire State Building is older, taller, and more famous. Yeah, definitely, right? Porque aparece en todas las películas. Pues es, the Empire State Building es más famoso, más more famous, more famous. Yeah, than the Rockefeller Center. So it gets more visitors. Por eso el Empire State tiene more visitors, right? He said, but the lines to get to the top of the Rockefeller Center aren't as long as the line uh, at the Empire State Building. He said, tickets are more expensive. But I think, and here he says the question, no? But I think the view is better. You can see Central Park on one side and the, per, and the Empire State Building on the other. Okay, entonces, which view recommends? ¿Cuál es la mejor view de acuerdo a este, a este visitor? No, it says that the Rockefeller Center. No, entonces, let's, let's write here. No, the Rockefeller, I'm going to write here. The, sorry. The Rockefeller center okay because it says no you have seen uh, you you can see the central park and you can see the empire state building yeah the rockefeller center and that's the answer okay on that way yeah this is the answer here and finally what about you where can you go in your in your town or city for a great view have you ever been there no Let's see, let's see. Okay, for example, in Wanuko, where is a place that you can have a very good view? Hmm? What do you think? I think in Wanuko is Marabamba, right? Have you ever listened about that? Yeah, Marabamba has a good view, no? Uh, yo vi algunas fotografías de algunas personas que tomaron desde Marabamba, and yeah, they look beautiful, no? You can see Huanuco, very nice, no? Inclusive puedes ver eh, Pilcomarca, Amarilis, and Huanuco, the three eh, biggest districts in Huanuco, okay? Well, now students, we must stop here, and let's go to the...